Okay, go with me on this, right? So to give a little backstory, yesterday I went and hung out with a friend of mine, Aaron. If you've ever watched my vlogs, you're very familiar with Aaron is. If you haven't watched the vlogs, I will put a link to them up there. But Aaron is a barista slash coffee connoisseur from here in the Monroe area. He's one of my best friends in this world. Anyways, so I was hanging out with Aaron yesterday and I went over to show him my new niche grinder And when I got there, he was like, yo, let's make let's make some lattes And I was pretty confused because he doesn't own an espresso machine either and then he breaks out this This is what you call a Bellman stovetop Steamer now all this contraption does is it heats up water puts it under pressure and creates steam So you can steam milk at home similar to on an espresso machine now when I saw this my wheels really got to turning because again, I've kind of been thinking about, okay, how, how could I go about making espresso, making lattes at home without a machine? And this was just the trick I was looking for. I've seen all sorts of other milk frothers and milk steamers in the past and none of them have ever really fit the bill, but this, now this is some, so really quick, I'm just gonna break down how to make a latte slash, actually, we're just gonna make a cappuccino today. If you wanna know what the difference between a latte and a cappuccino is, uh, I'll, I'll find a video that explains the difference and I'll put it up there. I have no idea what the video will be, but I'll put one right there. But it's basically just the ratios of milk to espresso. It's also the sizes and a couple of little things like that. Anyways, just, just go watch that video. But today I'm gonna show you how to make a cappuccino at home without an espresso machine. Let's do it. Okay, so now I have everything that you're going to need for this experiment here on the table. So we'll just start from this end to this end and go down the list of everything you're gonna need. Also, I'm gonna be putting the prices of everything up on the screen. I didn't look up the pricing of all of this stuff beforehand, so I'll look it up as I'm editing the video and put it all up on the screen. Okay, first things first, you're going to need an arrow press. They make two different versions of this, kind of a smaller, mini, more travel size, and then this one, which is just the regular one, buy the regular one because the next thing on the list, I don't know that it fits the mini, so just, just get the regular one. It's, it's like 30 bucks, it's cheap. Next up, this is the Prismo by Fellow. Basically what this does is it's an attachment for your AeroPress. It goes on the bottom. It has this little screen on the inside and a tiny hole on the outside. This creates a lot of friction, so it gets a lot of pressure, so the coffee that comes out ends up being far more concentrated, very similar to espresso. Next up, you are going to need a steaming pitcher. Actually, probably two steaming pitchers. I'm gonna be using two, I'll explain why in a moment. Uh, I have two different size ones. I have a larger one that I'm going to draw the espresso shot into. And then I have a smaller one, which is just a little easier for pouring latte art for a cappuccino. Now the price I'm gonna put up on the screen is for more of a generic branded steaming pitcher that you can get on Amazon. These are actually Barista Hustle steaming pitchers. They were sent to me by Fellow and Barista Hustle about a year ago. So I've got kind of fancy ones, but trust me, any old steaming pitcher will do. Next up, we've already covered this, but you are going to need the Bellman stovetop steamer. Next up, you're going to need a cup to make your drink in. I'm using the cappuccino. I believe this is either an eight or a 10 ounce. It might be eight ounces. This is the Monty by Fellow. Again, love this cup. They sent it to me same time they sent me the pictures, actually. This is a very important part that you are going to need. You need a wet rag. This is going to be for wiping off the steam wand once you are done steaming your milk. This is a crucial part, do not forget this. Next up, you are going to need a kettle of hot water. It doesn't have to be an electric kettle. In fact, the price that I'm gonna put up on the screen is just for a stove top kettle. This is an electric kettle. It works a lot quicker, I like it. If you really wanna take your coffee game seriously, invest in an electric kettle. You're going to need a scale. This is just a cheap scale that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. You're going to need your coffee. I'm using Big Trouble by Counterculture. And then last but not least is a grinder. Now, a grinder is technically preferable. I mean, you could use pre-ground coffee for this, although it might not taste as good. With that said, if you are using a standard like burr grinder that just does filter coffee, like a Barazza Encore or something like that, that is fine. That will most likely work. Just, I would probably recommend turning it to the finest setting and then playing with it a little bit after that to find out like what's the preferable grind size. But on Fellow's website where they are talking about the Prismo, they do say to grind your coffee very fine as close to his espresso as you can get it. Okay, now to make our drink. Also, this is a really important part. You wanna make sure this stays hot. Uh, and it's been sitting here for a minute because I've been filming for a minute. So I'm actually gonna take this and put it back on the stove for just a moment. Okie dokie, first things first, we're going to make our coffee. Take your scale, 
and we're going to weigh out 20 grams of coffee. Now, the recipe that I'm using for the coffee is the same recipe that they give on Fellow's website for the Prismo. It's 20 grams of coffee and 50 grams of water. I'm using the niche on the espresso grind setting that I use it on at the church, so it should be relatively close because again, I use this setting for an espresso machine, so. Also, I almost forgot to mention, typically you would use the paddle from the AeroPress. You're gonna need this in a minute to stir the coffee grounds. I'm actually not going to use that. I'm going to use a bar spoon instead. Reason being, this is not deep enough, or I have found that it is not deep enough to get all the way to the bottom of the container to get a really good stir. This is obviously plenty deep. Okay, now for the fun part. You're gonna take your AeroPress, take the plunger out, put the Prismo on like so. Go ahead and put the coffee in. Okay, now we are aiming for 50 grams of water. We're gonna agitate this coffee for 10 seconds, and then we're gonna let it set for one minute. Also, I think my, can you hear that? I think the, I think the steam's almost done. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. All righty, really simple. You put the plunger on and slowly start to plunge it down. You'll hear it start running out like it typically does with an AeroPress. There it is. Now your AeroPress is done, set it off to the side. So it looks pretty good. The espresso portion of the coffee is done. Go ahead and decant that down into your drink. So I've already filled my pitcher with enough milk for your standard like eight ounce cappuccino. So what we're gonna do, Go ahead and take your rag. This is a really important part. You wanna go ahead and wrap it around the steam wand like so and turn it on just a little bit. This is gonna release any water that is in the nozzle before the steam. So give it a little purge. All right, it is now good to go. Now I'm not gonna teach you the technicalities of steaming technique. Um, again, if I can find a video about it, I'll, I'll put a useful video right there. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and steam my milk. It's a little tricky steaming with this little guy, I have figured out, but not too bad. You wanna steam until the pitcher is too hot to hold. Wet rag, go ahead and wipe off that steam on. If you don't, you will have a huge, huge mess to clean up later. Now we just pour our milk like a standard cappuccino. And just like that, you have a cappuccino. Ugh. That's good. So that is how you make a cappuccino at home without an espresso machine with just honestly little bits and pieces that you can pick up on Amazon for really, really inexpensive. I think the most expensive thing here, apart from the grinder, is the Bellman stovetop steamer, which comes in at I think like 100 bucks maybe. Everything else on the table should be under $100. So let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoy seeing videos like this, of me kind of talking about how to make various coffee drinks at home and reviewing coffee equipment and things like that. If you do, be sure to like, comment down below, let me know so I can know to make more of these videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll just, I'll plan to see you guys in the next one. I'm going to enjoy my cappuccino and clean up my mess. I'll see you guys in the next one. So long.